Hey, it's Matt with American Powertrain. So I'm gonna shoot this little video here about our uh, Pittsburgh Performance Gear sequential conversion that we do for the T56 Magnum. So these are all the parts that go into the conversion. I know you guys have seen a video of the whole transmission together, but I thought you might wanna check out what this whole system comprises of. <clears throat> so a normal Magnum, these are the normal Magnum shift works. Pretty standard, they're cast aluminum. You get the, you know, pulls in and out, moves the forks around, and what that does is grab these hubs. So the fork fits around these hubs, and inside of these are synchronizers. So these are like little clutches that slow the transmission down just enough to engage the uh, the gear synchronization. And I won't get too in the weeds on these, but the difference between this and a full sequential are these dog rings. So this kind of simplifies the whole thing with less moving parts. You go from full synchronizers to these slider rings. And these are the PPG gears made from whatever unobtainium metal they're made of. They're super strong, they're pretty heavy, really beefy. And you can see the teeth on these. And that's how these rings come together. <clears throat> now the shift fork on the PPG is pretty elaborate. Looks very simple, but it's got these little kind of circuit cuts out here. So this is the, the piece that the lever pulls on and watch how they move. And that controls the sequential action. Now there's more to this than that, but it, I'm just kind of simplifying it here, but you can see how that just pulls it in and out, back and forth to go from H pattern to sequential. This is the heart of the system. And this is the shifter here. You've got a lever here that puts it in neutral and reverse. And this sits on top of the Magnum where the normal shifter goes, like where the mid shift conversion goes, right in the center. And this is the, you've got the gear selector sensor here that tells you what gear it's in. And that, you know, projects it onto the, your gear selector screen box. This will hop, light up and show you what gear you're in. This is the main shaft here, pretty beefy. Again, these can take a ton of power, really heavy. This is your secondary counter shaft. We have a Tick Performance billet front cover. It's got a, a sprayer bar here that goes right there to spray over the gears for uh, heat control and better lu lubrication. And another optional part is these beautiful billet case, meat machine from one piece of billet. And you can see how that is constructed. It's insanely beautiful. It's almost a shame to put that under a car. And this piece here is actually what mounts to this piece. And that's where your shifter goes. But this will give you a little bit more room if you need some more room in the box for some bigger gear sets that they make. It also makes the transmission a little bit smaller. So it pulls the case in much tighter around the gears. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown, kind of show you the heart of the full sequential system. Again, this is a lot different than bolting on a a shifter to go from H pattern to sequential because this is a full blown sequential. So if you guys are interested in these, give us a call. We can build you one and you can rock and roll on the track with this all day long. If you have any more questions, give us a call or check out AmericanPowertrain.com. See you guys.